Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to search for two different species on this special island we are on. Uh, we're still in Malaysia though, but uh, I'm not going to tell you on which island we are because this is a special episode uh, which we're going to show you a really, really special tarantula. Um, the first species will be a terrestrial species. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to find both of them or any of them, but uh, you'll get to see it in this video if we do. The first one, as I said, uh, terrestrial species, uh, Kilobrachis species. Not sure about the color, but uh, most likely grayish, brownish. And the other tarantula we're trying to search for is an arboreal one. A uh, true arboreal tarantula, tree spider from uh, Malaysia. It's an Omotumus species. I'm not sure which species it is exactly. It could be a Shiotai from the mainland, but it could also be a different species, which is not yet described, but uh, because of the isolation of the island. So I'm not going to call the species Shiotai because it could be the possibility that it's an endemic species to this island only, and it's a not described species yet. So we are going to try to find both of them. Um, we have only three days, so not sure if this will happen, but uh, so as I said, we're on an island and therefore let's get some drone shots. So actually we found Omothemus shiotai. Sadly so far no big female, but we found seven spiderlings and juvenile specimens. Um, they are not in full color, but I can show you a few uh, videos from it and also a few pictures. They were all at a minimum of three meters above the ground. So for me there was no, no chance to get them down on these uh, big, big trees. Um, actually yeah, we're still trying to find a big female for you. And, uh, I will let you know and you will see it here uh, first. High up in the trees. You have a little spiderling of an Omotimus species but it's so high I can't get it it's like at 400 millimeter on APS-C and it's not even cropped so so we have the biggest specimen found here also really really high up the trees um, so yeah this is the coastal line of the island of Langkawi itself. As you know first I did not want to tell you about the exact location of the island but now the information is revealed anyway because friends of mine actually the same team from France who found the, the panel Uleti did manage to find on the very same island just a few weeks later the exact same species and they were able to take some pictures. So here you can see the babies with his mom and then in this picture you could easily see big adult female which is on the very high end on the tree itself and they are remarkably colored and they look extremely beautiful but they might be just an island variant of Omothumus shiotai but at the moment we are just not sure here is a juvenile one in a tree branch and another adult female which is just extremely stunning looking actually so these are the smaller ones and you can easily see the yeah, yellow setae, like yellow hairs all over the body sprinkled and this is just very typical for arboreal species of this subfamily. So quite amazing found and uh, yeah maybe next time we are more lucky and be able to find uh, this species by ourselves um, 
the reason or the fact that there were many spiderlings in front of some tree holes uh, made me come to the conclusion that might be because the females all had uh, or all were protecting their XX um, when I was there and the team from France actually was there about one month later I think so they just might hit the sweet spot on this location and of course uh, I'm very happy for them and of course it's great that I'm able to use their pictures in this video so you guys are able to see also the adult female and how the adult female looks like. What you see here is typical lowland rainforest in Malaysia on this island uh, Langkawi itself. Actually this is on about 200 meters above sea level so not right at the coast and you can see there's just some beautiful little river streams and the vegetation is extremely lush and green. So far it is extremely hard to find any spider on the trees because as you see everything is completely forested and the spider itself live up to five to eight meters in height so it's just not easy to see them and it's even more difficult to get them down to take some pictures. Nice, so we just found uh, our terrestrial species. Uh, it's a Hilobrachis species and it's blue, like really, really blue. So I'm not sure if this is the color from all the specimen on this island, um, but maybe it's just a juvenile co color. I'm sure it's not adult yet, so they might have still the color of the juveniles and sometimes it's more bluish. Um, anyway, it's a really nice looking tarantula. So far we found only one specimen and maybe we'll get to see a bigger one and if not then we're out of luck maybe. This is the Gilobrache species I was able to spot on a roadside embankment um, where they were not that rare actually. I found several different individuals but sadly all at the same size and they have this pinkish bluish tone on the whole body. They're quite amazing looking actually. And I did find a, another specimen as well though, which uh, has kind of a different uh, look to it. And here is one in ambush uh, position. Actually, they're just waiting for prey. And that's the easiest way to spot them. It's during the night. During the day, you may be able to see the silk webbings at the entrance, but during the night, you'll easily be able to see them when they're occupied. So that's quite amazing. So two nights, no luck so far with the big female of Vomotimus. Um We still have our last night here and of course I hope uh, we get to see a big female. Let's see.